All oh, right, welcome to another episode of Life is Strange. My stream is bugging out. Craig's in the party as well. Don't know if he's got his audio on, but if he has, then he's there. If he hasn't, then I'm talking to him. And I actually don't remember... Oh, I remember the last time. It was a bad ending. Craig, are you going to play this at all? Or can I spoil it? Or have you played it? What? Uh, the first episode's free, but the full game costs money. Uh, it's like, I think it's three ninety nine per episode. Well, yeah, but uh, are you going to play it or not? So I don't want to spoil it or not. Really. Alright, so basically at the end of the last one, we had Kate on the roof and we were trying to stop her from uh, killing herself. Unfortunately, it wasn't possible. And um, she did fall to death, unfortunately. And that's where we ended. There is a way to do it where I think you can talk her off the roof, but I did it wrong, so... Hey, uh, Taffy, or Estafa, I don't know what to call you. Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's head to episode 3. Have you got your audio on? Ah, oh, stop being an ass. Alright, uh, so I'll continue from where we were at the end of the last episode into episode 3. I'm good, um, Mustafa, how are you doing? Before I do anything though in this one, I want to catch up with the journal because I missed quite a lot of pages of it. That's good to hear. In the previous you wonder why I don't want you in parties. Life is strange. Whoa. Film, little pieces right, here's a recap of what happened Isn't last time. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you That's doing, such a child. Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk <laughs> about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and Rachel's I... bracelet. Why oh, this part was so annoying last you, episode. Where I couldn't Please get through this junkyard thing for about half an hour. Put um, Estafa, one of Saren's usual viewers. Please, get me out of here! No, it's Estafa, not Estafa. Nobody cares about me. Uh, Nobody. And there goes Kate off the roof, but we tried to save her. What are you doing here, Max? Now I know. Today I thought we talked to her around because we were close to talking her around, and then she suddenly decided. Why nah. exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Please tell us everything. Oh. Uh, what the right. hell is this, Max? There was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything. Oh, we ended on an eclipse, apparently. Interesting. It wasn't meant to be an eclipse, but it ended on an eclipse. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. So far, I've not very chosen very wisely, but, you know. Yes. It's a Telltale game. Square Enix. What are you putting the sign in my chat for? Nay. No need for that. <laughs> Blame the bot that somebody put on my channel. And by somebody I mean me. That's the dormitories. Thanks. Made it myself. I don't need to read it because you're reading it, but your audio is not on, so I probably should have read it. Uh, <laughs> hey. The hamster in the cage. Oh. What? Oh. Who? I don't know. Only episode 3. 
I don't want spoilers. And the ass in gear now. I knew Chloe Naki was out of gear. I'm this. in park, mate. So I better get moving. In neutral. I guess is this, is this, this isn't my room, is it? Oh, it is my room. I thought it was just Kate's room. It's like I'm awake yeah, people got angry at me, and uh, the writing's still there because I haven't cleaned it up. Um, no one messes me, bitch. Batch. There was one other bit of writing, but I forgot where it was. Where was the other bit of writing? There was another bit. Or did I clean? Oh, no, I cleaned the other bit up. Anyway, we're going to read the... Oh, it's the wrong button. We're going to read the journal because I'm way behind on it. So where we got to last time. So this will take quite a while. But I'm going to read it. Before catching the bus out to meet Chloe, I saw Nathan talking to David, which made me nervous. Otherwise, I had a nice soundtrack ride to the Two Whales Diner. Talk about going back in time. I haven't seen the diner in five years, but it looks exactly the same. Although now there are way less fishermen and way more dumped food carts than when we were kids. Chloe and I had the best backdrop to play pirate. Old ships in a big ocean. Chloe was late, duh, so I was happy to be distracted by seeing Joyce again. A diner is like a museum piece, except with customers. Better still, the food hasn't changed at all. Joyce seemed really glad to see me again, and she didn't give me a guilt trip for not staying in touch. After William died, she wanted to move forward with a new life and husband. Chloe doesn't want to accept that. Joyce naturally gave me shit for corrupting Chloe with my new devil weed, though. I'm not sure she even believed it was mine. What could I say? I could see she actually loves David, even if I don't see how. The breakfast was so worth the grief, though. Why are you being a prick? <laughs> So much drama and I haven't even finished my breakfast. Finally, Chloe showed up more bubbly than I would have thought after almost getting killed in the bathroom yesterday. It makes me happy to see her smile, but that smile meant trouble. Since she, all she really wanted was for me to show off my rewind power. So I didn't. I have to admit, I felt like a total boss. Except I did start feeling weak and woozy the more I rewound. I even got a nosebleed, which kind of freaked me out. Chloe always wanted more, so she demanded me go to her top secret lair. Kate called, but I didn't answer because Chloe was giving me the stink eye. And to be honest, I don't like Kate being so needy towards me. Even though I kept acting like I'm her spiritual bodyguard. Man, I do suck. I'll make up to Kate. At least Chloe is happy. Just when I thought shit can get crazier, Chloe took me to her secret lair, the city dump. Perfect for Halloween, like where the vehicle and appliance ghosts of Arcadia Bay come to rot and rust. Urban dystopia porn. But instead of taking cool photos, Chloe had me do some silly kind of fun gun tricks. Until the guy Chloe owes money to showed up. Some skeevy guy called Frank. He demanded Chloe pay him back or else. I was shocked that he wasn't the loan shark I had expected, but I could literally feel his bad vibe. I still can't see how my best friend ended up involved with a loser like Frank. And I almost shot him. He pulled a knife on us. It felt like another one of my dreams. I don't even remember aiming the gun at him, but my finger just tapped against the trigger. Thank God there were no bullets left. I could have used my rewind, but the way my head was throbbing, who knows? I can't assume my power will always be available. I don't know anything about how this works or how long, so I can't take anything for granted. I just know I'm never holding another gun. I'm sure how many pages I've got to read of this. Jesus Christ. After all this drama-rama volume... I... Is that 33? I don't know. Chloe and I ended up taking a walk along the tracks deep in the woods. We both needed to hear nothing but the sounds of nature and wildlife. I was shaken inside from our encounter with Frank, and though Chloe fronts tough, I could tell she was shaken too. She told me everything about Frank, which explains why she was trying to blackmail Nathan. It shocks me that the girl I grew up with watching Spongebob ended up in such a scary orbit. Still, I felt safer with her at my side, and I was glad we had a moment of peace. So it probably wasn't the best idea to lay down on the tracks and wax about life, etc. As Chloe's leg got caught in the rail just as a goddamn train showed up. Of course I was off to try to take a photo of my portfolio. And then I had another quick flash of my tornado vision. I could see it, almost feel it, tearing the sky apart. My head felt like it was exploding like in that 80s film Scanners. Just as fast as the vision came in, it disappeared. I may be in denial about what this apocalyptic image means or doesn't. I've never heard of Scanners. Then I heard Chloe screaming for help and I was shitting kittens. Her foot was stuck in the damn rail, and naturally, this train was coming around the mountain. I was pretty proud of myself for coming up with a drastic, if not destructive, solution to once again saving Chloe. But just in case this journal ever falls into the wrong hands, it's going to remain our BFF secret, so there. Our morning adventure over, Chloe dropped me off back at my campus. She was so sweet and said that this week had been the best week of her life, despite everything. That made me feel so awesome. Chloe really sees us like we're taking over the world, but what if I hadn't been able to use my rewind power to get her off the tracks? Chloe might have to lower her expectations, and so will I. Speaking of expectations, David Madsen stopped to talk to me without being a total prick. I thought he was going to bust me for taking the heat for Chloe's weed, but we just talked a little, and for the first time I kind of felt sorry for David. He is a veteran. I know he probably saw awful things in combat. He said he doesn't want to fight with Chloe or me, 
All the shit he pulled on treating Kate like she's a suspect just makes it so hard to get along, but I promise to try for world peace. Something odd happened as if everything happening isn't bizarro, but I saw Kate having an intense conversation with Mr. Jefferson and she ended up practically running away from him in tears. I wish I could have casually asked, oh by the way, what's up with Kate? Like he would tell me anyway. I know Kate treats Jefferson like he's an apostle or something, so what did he say to make her upset? Just when I was feeling good about Chloe and me, I walk into Jefferson's class and see Nathan and Victoria actually sitting on my desk. Unreal. Asshole bookends. It's an interesting one. I, maybe you shouldn't laugh at this next bit. Kate Marsh killed herself. My hands are still shaking, but I have to write this down while I can. Right at the start of Jefferson's class, Kate went to the roof of the girls' dorm to jump. Every student teacher was watching her like it was a Blackwell rooftop concert. I saw her actually jump. I was just about to able to use my rewind to get her back on the roof. I tried harder than I ever did and somehow I stopped time completely. I made it to the roof, but again, my head felt like it was going to blow up. I knew that I couldn't just keep on rewinding to save Kate. I had to try and talk her down on my own. I failed. She was already in so much pain over the video and all the bullying, so she wasn't going to buy everything I tried to tell her. You see movies with people trying to talk somebody out of suicide, but it's very different when I'm the one doing the talking. Because she didn't believe me, or maybe she just didn't want to. I tried, but Kate still died. It was like that cliche about everything moving in slow motion, except in my case it was real time, not rewind time. I could see Kate's face right as she jumped, and I'll never forget that look in her eyes. Like she didn't want to, but had no choice. What are you laughing at? It was a look of total defeat and despair, and I could see her body flailing in space like she became aware of what she was doing and got more scared. Jesus, I can't believe I'm writing these words. After she jumped, it was so weird that I was alone on the roof. Kate was there, then gone. I could hear the crowd screaming below, and there was no way I was going to look at her body on the ground. I felt so numb, I just casually turned and went back down the stairs. My head was pounding, and my body was exhausted from the wee, wee rind? Yeah, I can't read, boys. I felt exactly like a zombie. <laughs> I must feel dead inside. When I stepped out the door, I saw Kate splayed on the ground. She was surrounded by paramedics while the police kept the students back. I hope they all got a good look at their victim. They wanted to watch her on a viral video when she was alive, and now they want to gawk at her in death. Not that I did anything to help her stay alive. All my amazing new superhero powers were worthless. I'm nobody's hero. It's not enough that Kate is dead and I'm numb inside. I had to get the black ball third degree from Principal Wells. It was bizarre to be in his tacky office with Nathan Prescott, David Madsen and Mr. Jefferson calmly talking about why Kate jumped off the roof. Part of me wanted to smash Nathan's smug face against the desk and know he had something to do with it. I thought about doing it and then flipping a quick rewind, but I knew that would be the start of a bad, dangerous habit. Fortunately, Principal Wells amazingly did the right thing and booted Nathan for a few days after I told him what happened in the bathroom. He must have more shit on Nathan, because otherwise I doubt this would happen to a Prescott. This is small justice for Kate. There'll be more if it's the last thing I do, which it could be if I'm not careful. I need a vacation from my life. I hung out with Warren on the lawn so I could feel grass under my feet and watch the fluffy clouds. He's such a sweetheart. He kept telling me everything I did. I, I did everything I could for Kate, even though I know I didn't. I told Warren that something ominous is happening at Blackwell Academy. Rachel, Amber, Chloe, and now Kate have all been victims. Not to mention me if I keep playing amateur detective. Wish I could have told Warren about my power, but it's not the right time. No pun intended. Oh, fuck off. And to make the day end on the most surreal note possible, the sky went dark and we watched a solar eclipse that was not announced on the news or any astronomy site. What's happening to Arcadia Bay? Oh, we're caught up on the journal. Some texts here. I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Get the ass in gear now. I got one from, or two from my mum. Hold on. Um, which one is it? Here. Max, please call us as soon as you can. We know this is painful. We want to know how you are. So please, please get in touch. And if you want to come and spend some time back home, the door is open and your bed is mid. We love you. And I'll put call right away. I love you as well. It was good to hear your voice. Remember what we talked about? You were there for your friend which had nobody else and Kate made her own choice. Nobody could expect more than what you did. You are a hero. We love you so much, Maxine. Call us anytime if you need to talk or visit. All right, who else is texting me here? We've got private number. Hey, whore, feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Sounds like a text from Reese. All right, Warren, now. Hey, Max, don't want to bother you. Just check it and see how you are. I know today was hard, but you did more than anybody else could have helped Kate. I'm proud of you, and please, no worries about going to the drive-in. But if you want to escape to a planet of apes, let's go. If you need to talk, I'm always here. Thanks, Warren. I'm still processing. Nathan got suspended, at least. I'll call you later. K? Question mark. I think I'm all caught up. Obviously, there's pictures here of different people. I think there's story, a story for each one as well, but I'm not reading all this that. Fuck disturbing. that. Yes, I have power, but Nathan is out of... Well, it's a lot of reading. It's a lot of reading, no, all right? I 
It fell behind on the Not journal. It should! There should be, but no, there's not. There should be an autoplay function. I'm gonna plant. Uh, oh, I can't water my plant. I've watered it enough. Okay, right. <laughs> oh, well, then your stream's frozen. Because I'm. I'm fine okay, with me. this is scary dark. Let there be. I'm just in the hallway. Just walking down, walking down the hallway. So this is where Kate's room was. So much hypocrite. Don't know. It'll pause if you've got some other like audio thing on, probably. Let's go talk to Dana. On the way down, let's have a word with Dana. Hey Dana, how are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate, and if this is my fault no. too. I think we're all responsible for what happened. <laughs> Not you, Max. You were close to her. I'm talking to Dana. No. I might have done. <laughs> you were nice to Kate. That's all she needed from everybody else here. Sticky Tell insect. that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? I'm not sure yet, <laughs> but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell. And I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared. Thank you, Ben. I'm not gonna lie. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Wait, why, why are we sneaking out? See you later. Oh, we have to go see Chloe. Well, I better rewind because there's something I missed there. That's why these episodes take so long, because you have to rewind and go through bloody conversations again. Doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault too. Mm -hmm. I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. I'm not picking you she were was close depressed. To her. No, I... Doesn't matter now. Kate's dead. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria... She jumped off the roof of the building we're in. Me. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being... Expelled? Well, there's a staircase. It's complicated. I don't want to drag complicated. you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced Say out what? here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. Nah, it's too... Nah, it's too much. Oh, Victoria isn't is. here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Wait, should I go through Victoria's stuff? Oi! Actually, Victoria isn't here. I'm gonna go stalk Victoria's room. Which one's Victoria's room? Basically, I can rewind time. Don't. Good. Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates look around. style. See what we've got here. Use. Let's oh, see what she's got on a laptop. Maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dude. Why am I called Max Cockfield? I don't see anything here that's... I'm not reading all that, but I can't, like... Pause it if you want to read it. I'm not sitting on it for you to fucking read. <laughs> that's a lot of bands yes. just to clean paint from a sweater. It will be going on YouTube for anyone who's interested. YouTube channel is mine. Arcadia Bay Cleaners. Oh, so this was a sweater I got paint on, Victoria's I'm pretty sure. Secret. She's a geek. She's a geek. <laughs> Craig, you could get along. 
<laughs> of course you can. <laughs> Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Cool kids right there. Oh, no, they're brilliant, aren't they? Victoria this game's about 10 years old, or 8 years old or something like that. steal this from my room. Good job. Can I take that back then if it's stolen from my room? No, apparently not. I'll title this one, Portrait Dealer yeah. Assholes. Be easier. Whoa, there's Kate. Hold totally on, just... high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Huh. Oh, the lion. Not These Simba. Socks cost more than my wardrobe. I'm, I'm I'm probably missing something here that I should should have found by now. I'm a few Let's seconds behind, but hello. Runways. Hello. Oh, you got your audio on now. Mhm. Mm oh, I'm walking into a table. Victoria is about as straight as me. I already looked at that, and I don't want to look at really it. I think I've, style. I think I've looked at pretty much everything I can look at in here. So, so see if you head out see why play. does it take out like everything you do? Like, say you no, it just puts you back. Like, something. if you go to a conversation, it'll just rewind you back to the start of the conversation. Okay. Um, we'll just go out to the campus and meet Chloe then, I suppose. I mute the stream, by the way, because I could um, hear two voices. So Chloe is waiting well, for me in front enough. of the main hall. I can hear it from my bloody TV. This is not fair. Oh no. Ah, no. First world problems. There's a bench over there. There is a bench. See, I can't sit on it. Why? That's. It what, doesn't. It what's doesn't the use of the bench? Memorial tribute. Shoot. Oh. Jesus. It's for Katie. I still can't believe she jumped. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's sweet. She jumped oh, from up Teddy. there. That top bit, that tippy top bit, all the way up. She jumped up there. So it's kind of a splat when she. Oh, I can sit on this bench. Oh, she jumped from like the top bit of that. What the hell am I doing? Like the very top. Gunner. And I'm sneaking around. This campus looks like a cemetery. Is it? I'm sick of sitting on the bench already. It's boring. <laughs> I've got things to do, people to see, alright. <laughs> this video's already been two hours long, I didn't know, don't need to bloody give this bench a sip. Wait, why is the principal there? Because he's who did it. He killed Keith. I've got more journal pages, I'll read them later. Um, no. Employee <laughs> message. Max. What? Uh, yeah. I can't get past... How do I get past him? Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory. Oh, fuck's sake. Well, walking straight past that. him didn't work. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. Rewind. I, <laughs> Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried He's drunk to help, but... I don't God know. God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I... I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. How the fuck so am I going to get I past him? This is going to be weird. Chloe. Well, your name's oh, Max. Oh, Whitley falls asleep. Yeah, Maxine. Huh? Look at me. Feeling sorry for myself when Kate Marks How do I get? Long. How do I get past him? There's got to be a way. Oh wait, hold on. Is this ladder still out here? Ah, oh, it's not. No. Don't fall. If I can... <laughs> oh, it's can I go in here and get some stuff? I hope Samuel get the ladder. Ladder? Where's ladder. the ladder? I can't find the ladder. There's no ladder in here. Girl ladder. stuff. Why is there girl stuff in here? Scarves. Girl stuff. We call this girl so, stuff. Oh. That's what it says on the item box. Listen, I didn't see the girl stuff. I saw like the bin lid and the, the bleach and all that shit. 
Oh, Samuel got a Hollywood girl's fucking in. <laughs> girl stuff. Oh, wait. Can I go out the back door? Oh, I can't go out that door. What the fuck? Nuts and bolts. Like my grandpa's garage. Yeah, I don't care about your grandpa's garage. Is there anything I can fucking get to get out? I, there's, I can only look at stuff in here. I don't think I can actually pick anything up. Wait, was that something I could... Oh, whatever it is. I don't know how I'm meant to get past the fucking cunt. Give him booze. He's got booze. Hiya. Give him more booze. Oh, you, no, hi, I want to say hiya. Where are you going? Oh, I can't communicate with you. Okay. That's fine. You can talk to animals now. I'm an animal oh, whisperer. The most magical insect. If I go around this way, hold on. If I Burn sneak bright. up. There's a way to sneak around the back way here. Never noticed. I can't go up there. What if I go up here? If I stealth around here. You might not like go inside the building and exit for the Oh, fucking why? The... Now he's going to be off. totally trapped. How am I meant... Is there something I'm meant to do here that I'm missing? Kill him. He's next. Besides kill, besides <laughs> kill him. He's next. Come on the roof. How do I get round? Dude, I don't know this place well enough. Oh, I've been there this? to help me. Well, I'm on this episode, start of episode three. Oh. I'm going back into the. I've got. Bitch has me trapped. Yeah, I'm just wondering how I'm meant to. A, how is he not seeing me when I'm standing here? And B. Smart son of a bitch has me trapped. Rewind. Okay. Rewind time. Go all the way back. That's nope, something I'm missing. It does. I can get nosebleeds and bad headaches. Oh, 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 I see. I see how you do it. Okay, that's fine. I'll go all the way back here. He's not here yet. I know. I have a set of keys on me. Max the ninja strikes again. He was facing back. So that whole time, all I had to do was rewind. <laughs> There's been a lot of situations like that. Oh, uh, fuck's sake. I was looking for a solution like a ladder to climb over the fucking dormitory or something and climb over the house. And they just had to, just to rewind. Rewind time. Well, I didn't know he was going to be facing backwards at any point. I wasn't aware of that. Booyah! Well, that was oh, just Get fucking it? jump scared me. Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. Well, like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm, oh shit. I'm it's sorry, deep. Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying yeah, to sucks. be a bitch, but I'll never Keep get the image angle. out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's going to bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the place. Yeah, that's what I did. I tried and to rewind as much as I could so she didn't jump. And you have to talk you her out of it as best you can. And sometimes else. it works and sometimes it doesn't. Oh, yeah, and, and somehow it stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? No. Have you muted yourself again? Didn't you say that it was all okay. about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Mm. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe... Leave my ability out of this. I weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's uh, no, but yeah, more or less, yeah. Okay? It's, like a, it's a, like an art school, I think. Something like that. Right. About For one thing, there's too much. Okay. Well, I wasn't really paying full attention because I was getting a drink on my fridge. So I'm glad you were there too. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott. 
Not just them. Not yep. just them. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. And even though I don't know her, it feels like <laughs> getting Rachel into it. It's episode three. <laughs> the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's? Yes, she's dead. Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even. Probably too soon it. after Kate, but not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you Even said, if it's just it's a time body. to start the search for clues. Now tell okay, me we're not fucking Scooby-Doo. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. <laughs> Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. Wait, so we're going in to the school. Into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so no, glad Principal you're Wells. In crime. As long as you're my partner in time. The school's called we'll Blackwell. Here. And he's black. <laughs> Blackwell's running Blackwell. <laughs> Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. Are they talking? I know this has been an awful day and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. She's I she's really basically a bitch, a bitch of the series. I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the everyday heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. It's like an art competition. Photos, you missed the first two fucking episodes. Max. Yes, you missed I'll something. I'll give you a one-word sneak <laughs> preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You, you know should get in with the that. art teacher before I do. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jones, Not like that. Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have <laughs> to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think you have you yourself, though. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I think she likes him. You, to my photo for you smell like doo doo, Sarah, and don't at me. Future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation She's coming to my chat saying I smell like doo doo, just for. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only. This is the weirdest bloody episode of Life is Strange <laughs> already. <laughs> The first two I was on my own and just calmly going on with it. The second or the third one now, I've had Craig and Saren. So stupid. How how has Victoria not seen me? How has she Victoria not seen me? I'm in plain sight. Any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. What are we even doing? I don't even know what we're doing. Yeah, because you spelled it wrong. Of course you said Fudu. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. I don't even want to go to school in the day. Why are we coming at night? Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. I don't blame me for that. That We're was your weed. I just took the heat for you. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands. Don't tell of her that. Police. <laughs> Don't so tell her that. She doesn't know. She doesn't know yet. <laughs> you can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Nah, she doesn't know she's trespassing yet. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. One more door and our work here is done. We just got in here. What are we doing? Oh, one more door to the uh, Ray Wells. Open the fucking door then. That's Have it. I got to speak to you to open the door? What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding. Let me guess. Like everybody here. I'm going to try and well, find the fucking definitely key. definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lock picking, thanks to Frank. I might as well oh. test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. 
Well, you could look Skyrim for the key. right here with a lock picking. Just in case. Why See, you that? could look for the key. I knew what I was doing before it got told, like, told me. Fuck off. Uh, how about you look for the key? Huh? Nothing here. I know, I know the script at this point. Walking Dead, Dead has prepared end. me for this. I search for every single drawer. Crap. I physically can. Why is there so many files? Boring. Just all shite. Only a toad. What is this? Wear a crappy hat like that. Crappy hat. I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost this beret. I bet he's cute. Oh, well, maybe I should look here. The key Here's cabinet, the perhaps. None for the principal's office. No or maybe not, me. because they're not in there. We have to find <laughs> another way in. I guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. Just Can fucking kick the door down. Oh, so what we're doing? Hey, Warren. Oh. You busy? Just bubble hearth. You'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise. We're helping. Stat. We're getting help from Warren. Without okay. naming names, if somebody I'm had 36 minutes into this, and I feel like I've gone nowhere. Wanted to construct a device that would say open a locked door. Would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, no, no. Stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake He's up like, everybody fuck you in black. Warren. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? <laughs> now. I'm gonna go put it. Together. Oh, there we go. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get. Oh, so I've got to go collect stuff in different leave. rooms, don't I? To get... The race is on. See you soon. What are you laughing at? Race is on for what? Oh, for fuck's sake. Here's how you do it. Um. So, that makes no sense to me. No, he is. Four objects. Sugar. 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 Soda can, duct tape, and sodium chlorate. Uh, Warren is such I know where to find a soda man. can. Let's see if I can find those items. There is a soda can. Of course, you told me a phone bad. It's all mine anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Only three more items to go. Uh. Um, well, I can't do anything with the machine, so... Oh, no, I need actual sh sugar, I think. It won't let me interrupt this vending machine, either. So, what I'm thinking is... Go to the science lab. Which I believe is here, from memory. <laughs> ah, it's a race against time. There's no... I hate that formalin smell. Alright, so let's just... Let's... Exam file. I don't want to look at my exams. Is that sugar on the table? Why is there sugar on the... Oh, coffee. Ooh, sugar. Uh, You're halfway I'm assuming, home, I'm assuming sodium chlorate will be in here as well. Oh, Warren, what do you want? Yeah, fuck off. I'm busy. Graffiti. Yeah, let me just... Where would sodium chlorate be? I know, but where about is this lab? Yeah. I was looking at these shit tables. It's not these shit. Back here, maybe? Yeah, oh. Chemistry stuff. You're an Look. artist. Oh, I can't. Not actually. a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Yeah. To be honest, I don't even know what sodium chlorate is. I don't even know what sodium chlorate is, so even if I found it, I wouldn't know what it was. So. That's, the only, that's the only thing I could think of, but weed killer. Here's the sodium chlorate box. Why is there a cigarette 
And the, you know what, fuck it. It gives me an achievement taking an optional photo, so I'll take a picture of it. Alright, cool. That says Duncan, first of all. Take. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. You know what, honestly, I probably should have done that in hindsight. Now where am I gonna find duck Only tape? One more ingredient left. I suppose, I don't know where that is. Can't go. Wait, is that the art is that the art room? Art class. It's not gonna be in the art class, is it? Get me out of here. It wouldn't. What the fuck was that? Oh. Specifically duct tape. I can't look in case locker. I look locker at it. Your looks so lonely. Can I go in? Why am I walking into a wall? I can't go in that. Um, there was a viral video going around of her being high at party and like trying it on with a lot of guys. And I'll middle age over to. Yeah, but you say rumor. This was, tr this was true. This happened. No, the video I mean on the game happened. Where the fuck would I find duct tape? Bathroom, maybe. A long time ago, I can't go in there. Nathan got smacked down. Well, where would the duct tape be? Unless it's in the. I don't know whether I don't know if there is a maintenance closet. Where's the fucking principal's office? I'm fucking lost. Maybe it's in here somewhere. No. Possibly duct tape in here. I thought we used some tape in Jefferson's class last week. I thought we used some tape in Jefferson's class last week. You told me not to go to the art room, and it's in the fucking art room. You're pulling me off a trail. We used some tape in his art class last week, but Craig says, oh no, the class doesn't have tape. I'm never listening to you again. This is like a scene mm. in a horror film. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't expect it to be in here either, so... Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried <laughs> Did to you see you Google it? <laughs> Shit. Victoria. Fuck off. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? If that's a Daniel's picture, a that's... a better illustrator than photographer. Oh, they used the bloody... Said Max, the art critic. I think so, yeah. These are the ones that are going into the competition. Where would the tape... If we were using tape in class, where would the tape be? The drawer. Can't interact with either of those drawers. Victoria's what is this? Cigarettes? <laughs> I'm ah, sure Mr. Cigarettes. Take them. Chloe likes cigarettes. I probably should find those items now. Probably should. I'm trying to fucking look for them, mate. Oh, there it is. The tape By is the printer. Moving. I should have known. <laughs> now it's time to That's where everyone uses Max duct tape. In the, the art ball. class by the printer. Why do I feel like I'm going to get interaction before I get back to Chloe? Like somebody's going to be in the way, scaring me. You'd think so, wouldn't you? But the art class by the printer. Smile. Where's the fucking principal's office? I always forget. Oh, it's here. Yo. Yeah. Take it easy on yeah. the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! I know. Literally. That would make sense. Yes! Time to blow shit up! Oh yeah, we're blowing out the door, yes, by the way. Light the candle? This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. No, it's just... Um... This is gonna be so fucking loud. It's not gonna work, is it? Oh, no. That was so it sounds like a gunshot. Cool. It would have been quiet to kick the door down. Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay fire. Yeah, you guys are fucking so. Yeah, uh, big so IQ. Do? Tip me to the office. I can't go to the. Well, that's the bathroom. That's why. Office. No. Let me in. I can, but. Where am I? The 
There's only one way around this. One way around it? What is it? Because I don't fucking know. Yes, there's a timer. I mean, the alarms aren't on anymore. All I need to do... Oh, she used to try to open the door on the other side. <laughs> All I had to do is rewind. That's hilarious. in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only Sometimes it's just a simple rewind is all you have to do. I'm overthinking things. Principal locks this room up. Fancy Thor crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. Shut up. But no taste. Don't need you to be smart, all right? Try to make content here. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking My old show. In his I'm on TV. I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet mm. or Picasso, he'd still be a Blackwell. Just for the record as well, if you're watching, Craig is still in the bar. He's just never got audio on. So what are we actually doing here? I completely forgot okay, because I'm so focused to try to get in here. Short-term memory is shit. <laughs> This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues. Oh, uh, I've got to look Which around at stuff mean? again. For fuck's sake. Maybe. Why have I got to? You do something, Chloe. Um, it's always me. Well, all they need to do is look at everything, so that's not too difficult. Lamp. Switch that on. Not can see shit. Oh, what do you want? Alright, thanks. Yep. Uh, no, it's a friend who I think he likes me, but I don't like him. Shy and sweet, and in the wrong place. Right, uh, there. I'm not reading all that, but it's on the screen. Student information sheet: Kate Beverly Marsh, GPA three point nine. Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding, along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on Key Bay, or K Bay, Seven News, and her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school history. Well, that's going to stop now. Principal Wells is a school nurse. I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. <laughs> I spoke to her briefly, and she was upset, but Vega refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep her eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Regards, Anne-Marie Baranchi. Updates. At present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh, a Vortex Club party that's been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. There isn't an attached file. I can't... Only two more files to go. Oh, I have to find files. I certainly can't use this. You told me to read it out. <laughs> okay, I'll read the other ones then. Look at this oh, pile. files. Look at this pile. I'm looking at the pile. Can we go into them and see if the fucking files are there? Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a oh, there's spotless Nathan's. record. Student information sheet. Nathan Joshua Prescott, GPA 3.7. Brief summary. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record of very variety, I can't read, of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He sends a proud representation like of Blackwell. Well, that's horse shit. Own personal file. Oh, there's me! Student information sheet. Maxie Caulfield, GPA 2.8. My GPA is shit! Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quite attentive student with much potential for photography. Her GPA fluctuates as she acknowledges she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence so some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Well, we're literally looking around files in the dead of night in the principal's office, so that kind of nosy would probably explain it. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so. This is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Update. Despite some 
recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max tried to unsuccessfully stop fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off a dormitory roof to her death today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's bravery is undisputed. Poggers, this I'm brave. This is going to be so spotless, a projectile vomit. And, then, <laughs> and there is Victoria's final. <laughs> Student information sheet. Victoria Marybeth Chase. GPA 3.9. How is everyone's better than mine? Brief summary. Victoria Chase is a gold standard for Blackwell Academy. A student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks of faculty for a devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell Spirit and History. Sure Warren is that it? Doesn't have a criminal background. Warren as well. Alright, we'll read Warren too. Fuck it. He's got the highest! Warren Graham, GPA 4.0. I'll listen to you in a sec, Craig. I'll just read this first. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift or curse of gab, depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, which is not confirmed by his science teacher, Mrs. Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. Is that all of them? Have we Let's got them all? this last file, Sherlock. Sexy. Always wanted to say nab. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Yeah, most likely. Oh, there's so much to read. Oh, there's so much to read. Student information sheet. Rachel Dawn Amber. Update. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending classes for the past month and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for a quick return to continue her academic excellence. Brief summary. Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her stu uh, studies, yeah, studies, and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. I'm struggling. There's a lot of reading here. Popular with both students and faculty, she has de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership. There's a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modelling. There's no doubt that Rachel will achieve all her dreams with Blackwell as a fulcrum. What's a fulcrum? Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has been officially closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay comes up another secret. We always keep our eyes and our ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks for all your help. Lieutenant Chris Rossi, Arcadia Bay, PD. Man, I don't Oh, next, there's more. For expelling Chloe. Oh, yeah, it's Chloe. Chloe. Oh, she's fucking shit. Okay. At least I'm not the worst. Student information sheet, Chloe Elizabeth Price, GPA 1.7. Brief summary, Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander an empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Update. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. Okay. Well, I think I've done all the reading. I think we found I'm pretty sure I have to talk to Chloe. I should go join Where is Chloe? Chloe? Now. Oh, she's there. Why do Oh, I have to walk on this side to talk to her. Yeah, come okay. check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs to studio, on campus. Yeah. And my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is There's a lot of reading, alright. I'll get some more drunk. <laughs> that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescott's dropped major bank to bury Nathan's. Nathan real Prescott the third. Ooh. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled. At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? I bet Nathan killed Nathan Rachel. Is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. Would he not, like, use him Pretty cryptic. more than I would? No, He'd probably abuse like him. Some sort of weird Just I'm using mine for good. Hebrews. Kinda. Jesus. David was stalking Kate. <laughs> no, <laughs> for, and for mine and Chloe's good. Over Rachel too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm I tried to. Paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we should <laughs> leave a gift. Alfred no, deserved it. Alfred got what was coming to. Max, do your powers include mind reading? 
If you want to go well, you see you what happened to Alfred on the I Batman Tattoo series, that's on the channel. Uh, <laughs> you can see me take out his eye. <laughs> I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed or maybe I won't take out his eye. Mm. What have we'll see. Here? Go watch the video. <laughs> Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha -ching. What would Jackpot in? Wow, I had to pay more That's attention to the story and less the attention handicap. to the crowd. Dude, there's five thousand dollars here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. We're not going to be able to take five thousand dollars. Something goes missing. Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself. I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. What? I don't know, but I'm stealing it. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk. I can rewind if it's not a good option. Right? I'm gonna look at you both options Supermax? and then decide from there. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell, okay, she's convinced and me. Strip clubs. <laughs> Kidding. But you never know. Oh, I'm. I'm... Either way, it'll have consequences. That's the thing. That money. Yeah, it's kind of just you're fucked. Whatever you do, sort of thing. It'll have either consequences later on or consequences from beforehand. More or less, Max, yeah. You better come check out these files. I have to go through all this again, Nathan though. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs I could skip it, but then that's. And my step troll went yeah. along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence. I could skip. I could skip it, but it feels like I'm like just fucking David up the story then. teaming up with Nathan Prescott. That's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know nope. the Prescott's dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled. It's actually racial in the Nathan dark room. Finally suspended. Check out that note. Yes. Open it. Not Rachel in a dark room. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's Big it. Rachel, the rage. Up. What does this even mean? It does a wee bit look like Ethan a frog. Yeah. Truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Fuck off. <laughs> Whoa! Listen to this. David M always asks what's going on in my head. David M always helps me follow those he follows. It's pretty. Creepy. David's close stepfather. No, just like so you're some sort of weird done. team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know to be fair, the chair is quite comfy, or it looks quite comfy. I wouldn't know, because I've not been able to sit in it. Pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Oh, uh, I want to take the money, but I want to see what the option, wow, what would happen if I leave it. That's a lot for so the handicap. we'll see. Dude, there's five thousand dollars here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. We'll see. Are you gonna make a big issue? I don't want Chloe to hate me though. Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself. I hope no. you instead of lecturing me. <laughs> I've been trying to stay friendly with her. Alright, let's see. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need oh, to a, frank Oh, back, handicapped fund. Uh, I've got nah, my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power I in that horse choking lot fund. of yeah, cash. Yeah. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. <laughs> let's get the hell out of this office morgue. You're bloody handicapped. <laughs> I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Portland. That impish yeah, look I'm scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk? Why do you want to go swimming? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in Did my skull, at least week? allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish splash. You're right. We hella deserve it. I don't think splish I get a choice splash. over this one. I think Did we are splish splashing. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. 
Did she say good, bad influence? Mm. Mm. Well, she is a good, bad influence. She's a good, bad, bad, bad. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this house. There's probably gonna be more deaths. Power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so it's, it's rewind time. Except just not. Boys or girls. Right, Craig, you can pick. Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Which is it this way? Oh no, nope, I've got the I had to go one of two ways. I went the wrong way. Imagine. Uh, where is she? I That's guess Nathan's jacket. Their Blackwell spirit. Oh, it looks like Nathan's jacket. Logan's locker. I guess I should consider this evolution. Uh, yeah, that's that's readable, Craig. So, so read it. <laughs> Dana, I know I'm an a. Dana, I know I'm an a hole, but I still care about you, love Logan. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I didn't expect you to get it to be her. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens what when I'm around? Hey, think about things about you. Cool, what are you wearing? Just my crystal necklace and phone. Hot, what are you wearing? I'm in my locker room. Only wearing a jersey sitting in my football. Why does I need to say red? I can read that anyway. That's readable. Oh, just... Betty right, developed board. that in Jefferson's class. Ah! But why? Why don't I click red? Some poor hipster lost their vape. Probably Chloe's. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Oh, is it Nathan's drugs? This must be for training kids. Seems that way. What? What? Like, have I, I've looked at everything. What else do I need to do? It doesn't let. It doesn't let me in the women's locker room. Or in the. I don't think I can. I think there's just one where I choose and I can't rewind it. Oh, I go through here. Smile. Boys' locker room is right. Sex me up. That's what it said in the oh, thing. It's nice to know Victoria, loves, Victoria loves the D. Herself. Max Welcome is a feminine. There's no need for that, alright? I bet you do. What does it say? Warren Garum. Oh. Imaginative. Dana, he... Oh, Dana needs a baby daddy. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. <laughs> Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. You mean that face? Very good angle, I don't know. <laughs> right, onwards. Where's Chloe? Oh, there's Chloe. I can't push her in. Oh, fuck off. I want to push her in. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. You want to see sharks in the swimming pool in Hit school? Okay. Where's the light? I'm assuming around here or something. I don't right? think anybody's Rescue ever board. drowned here. Yeah, but have you seen how much wall there is? 
Pull Just side. when I thought yeah. it was safe to go back in the water. I'm done. Kill the shark. Um. Well, just in case people decide to catch them. Where the heck are these lights? Looks guest like list? The What's the guest list? Decisions, oh. Decisions. Oh, I could pick who's oh, going to be on the list. I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. Yeah, get off, get off the list, idiot. Shit now. I don't even know who I crossed out. Oh, consequences. Are, I'm, I'm walking into... I'm walking into... Stuff. Exit. Yeah, that's when there's consequences with that action, but I don't care. It's funny. People think I'm going to go to the people think I'm going to go to the party. Actually, n nope. Oh. Uh. Yeah, probably. Where the fuck are these lights? I'm stuck. I'll go for you. I've walked around the whole building, and they're right behind Chloe. I'm going to have fucking have an aneurysm. Are the lights in here? Oh, this is the other. Oh, this is where I was, wasn't it? This is Victoria Chase rules. Oh, this is the women's one. I managed to sneak into the women's one. Yeah. A miracle does. Dear Kate, I don't care. Nice. God, wow. God, you're an asshole, mate. I hope Rachel so. Rachel abides. Um... Walking to a door. Assholes. Yeah, it's just not not really needed, is it? The sock. Where does that other sock go? Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. The American Drive-In Theater. Alright. Where the fuck are these lights? I bet they're in the boys' one right at the beginning. Those are some musty ass old shirts. Da -da. They weren't in the fucking pool. <laughs> Those look like the most in the girls changing room. towels in towel history. What? Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they I training maybe questions. frogmen here? Fuck off. A bus case locker. Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? It just lets me look at a ticket. It she was going to go to Portland. The port. Oh, it was eat beavers. Okay. Except that. Fuck. Where the fuck are the lights? Am I missing something? Like. Hello. Hello. Still waiting for the light. Go turn on your fucking self. And here. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. <sighs> Wait, I got to look around the other one while we're waiting. Oh, she got fucking changed quick. Are we just staring at the wall? Alright, come. On. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Fuck off. Alright, what's in here? Yes, we get it. Otters. Otters! You can tell like, the game was made because it's 2012 on there, Jesus Christ. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Cup. Life is just to, yeah, I got that one as well. I'm gonna do it after this one. Can I push her in? You'll push. What in case do? I run out of air, I know where to come. Time to do or die, Max. Oh yeah, you're actually probably right. Yeah, I noticed that. I 
How to jump? Well, how to jump in? But this must be for training kids. So what am I meant to do? I'm so confused. This game hurts my brain. I know, but do I just do I just go down the stairs? Can I communicate with Chloe? Baby, it feels like a hot tub. Oh, I just speak to Chloe. You made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not going to stand there watching me like a zombie. I am. I'm not swimming. Don't you dare. Oi. Stop me. Hit Don't me. you splash okay, me. Ask for it. <laughs> That'd be more revenge than jumping in and splashing Cannibal back. Oh, there we go. Cannonball. I've eat. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked Idea. out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. Shark! Oh, there's a shark in my water. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. Drowner. I mean, um. I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. Can't well, talk about death. We're with still all still this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related, and I want to find out why for Kate's sake. Well, you don't know. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything. Oh, okay, Max. thanks for the spoiler. <laughs> Especially you. I can already tell. <laughs> You're not so chicken shit anymore. Spoiler, well, she's girlfriend. dead. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like Spoiler, yo. Nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm we'll just see. stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? Well, I've got two more episodes to play, so we'll see. Save me, Max. Thank God. I'm wondering I when I'm going to do my next what episode. You and I don't know when to do it, yeah. Kate would both be dead. So it's yeah, time to start so moving forward shiny. in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? No. <laughs> Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm, I'm doing. I'm doing an Aerodactyl raid and I've got shiny already. I already. feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. I You're did, like I came out with you for both of us. And you got your rock and roll. So, ergo, I hope so. Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? Yes. <laughs> and I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Uh, you know what? We'll say Warren is nice. Warren is nice. <laughs> nice? The guy. Ouch. That means friendly. That keeps texting me all the time. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But. I haven't told him about They will help you open the door. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're going to make the world yeah. bow. As long as you're there with me. <laughs> Don't Probably look so is. sad. I'm never leaving you. Oh, uh, my cables are tangled. Now I'm getting cold in here. We'll get out then. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other. Otter versus shark style. Oh, stop splashing me. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jump. Let's call it a draw. Whole experience of the year. Talk about fucking warm for two minutes. She looks like a robot the way she's swimming. Well, there's no towels in the changing room, aren't there? I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Yo, what? We are in fucking land. Oh. So, where do I go? Move, Max. Don't waste your power on getting busted. I'm moving, I'm moving. I'm here. I'll oh, leave the swimming pool. Are you shitting me? Oh. They've obviously just seen us through the window. How how have I not been seen through the window? 
Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where I could jump, can I jump in here? Hello? We're not here. I'm sure about hide. Hello? Anybody there? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. I see a fucking thing. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I don't know where he is now. I've fucked myself here, haven't I? <laughs> I got here. I have no idea, but I can't see a fucking thing. Can I get out? Gamma is up. We are so invisible. Oh, I made it. Let's bail. I think I made it. Yeah, I made it. Hi, Orbis. I'm good. How are you doing? I don't know if you're still here. I'm sorry. I was focusing on trying not to. Get caught Wait, there, but turn around. I'm decent. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? <laughs> okay. Into the car. Get Walk into your car. Oh, Alright, we made it out. Get held upon. Except for the fact that David's probably gonna know. <laughs> I wonder if maybe I should have rewound, rewound there. After this little cutscene, I'm going to read some more of the journal. Just so I caught up. Feats. Oh, my feet are numb. Take selfie, hi, ah, fuck it. Always remember this moment. What well, the moment we slept with Chloe? Photo bomb! Photo hog. Of course she's awake for a photo. Somehow David will know. It feels like a different world from yesterday. 
We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just yes, don't she want can. to be rejected. Do it. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... Since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Oh, my phone's full of charge. Just Decent. hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel. Do like I have a test today? To every day. Oh uh, no, test. I don't. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Back to normal is what it's saying. Oh, here comes the copyrighted music. Was better get up. Okay, what now? I need to get dressed now. Oh, message from Warren. Glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell's night. Almost glad. By the way, the driving is actually popular, so I'm buying the tickets now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. You know what? We'll catch up on the journal while we're here. Give me something to do. Oh, where's the journal? There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. I put myself way back to me to do that. Uh, where was I? Here, right? Because at the end of... Where, wait, where was I? So at the end of 38? Yeah, I was. All right. Dear Diary, I have the power to rewind time and ended up jumping on a rooftop, or ended up on a rooftop trying to stop my friend from jumping off while trying to prevent the possible destruction of my hometown. I fell asleep at my desk and woke up reaching out to rewind or grab Kate. I remember when my journal entries were about which anime character I wanted to be, or my dreams of being a respectable popping photographer, or what me and Chloe would be doing when we were finally adults. At least we know how that turned out so far. Chloe is determined to get to the bottom of what's going on, so I've been playing What Would Chloe Do, which means blowing off my Blackwell homework to research everything I can find on Kate Marsh, Rich Lambert, and the esteemed Prescotts. It'd be too easy peasy if they were all connected, but at this point... I think the whole town of Arcadia Bay is connected to this crazy shit. I can already see the story on the National Geographic channel. Mystic, scientific, or apocalyptic. The Arcadia Bay tornado. Shudder. Speaking of fear, I can still see Kate and her sad, hopeless eyes on that roof. I can't believe she's not here anymore. I heard some students are organising a petition for Blackwell to set up a scholarship in her memory. That's the least this place could do for her. At least I feel better now that Nathan is suspended. It's good he's off campus for a few days, I hope. And like I give a shit if the Prescott family sends a team of lawyers after me. Please, I doubt they would like all the publicity. I doubt the tentacles reach into the rest of Oregon. Not yet, anyway. Leave it to Chloe to make me sneak out past curfew and demand I meet her in front of the main building in the dead of night. I knew Chloe would be all over investigating the campus after what happened to Kate here. This just makes Chloe more desperate to find out what happened to Rachel, if anything. It's funny that even though I think I can rewind myself out of trouble, I'm in more trouble now than ever before in my life. If this was a Twilight Zone story, I'd be getting set up for some more serious irony, like I'm going to rewind myself out of existence or something. Can I honestly say I'll have this ability for the rest of my life? For the tornado, the snow, that eclipse, just hallucinations or a genuine prophecy? More importantly, is this a curse or a blessing? Chloe is alive and by my side and that's be a miracle, which means it must be a way to stop my vision from coming true, right? So yes, I broke curfew to hook up with Chloe. She said she had something to show me. It looks like it's time for some serious detective work. Enter the Blackwell Ninja. As I stealthily made my way out of the hall, I saw a shrine in front of Kate's door. I was surprised when it just popped up right after she died. Like everybody at Blackwell suddenly felt guilty for how she was treated. I'm glad that so many people wanted to honour her. The cynical side of me says, too little, way too fucking late. But I know that Kate would smile and forgive us all. Sigh. Cry. Damn, that was too close. I was doing so well until I got outside, and of course it was Principal Wells of all people blocking the way. The one person I wanted to see, or at least wanted to see. I wasn't injured enough for him, so yeah, he busted me. But I finally got to see the gossip that was true for a change. Principal Wells was shit-faced. He didn't even try to hide it. In fact, he was a lot cooler drunk than sober. I could see why he's so confused, dealing with Kate's family and the press guards and David Madsen. He still acts suspicious and gives me way too much tood, as he would say. Nobody says that seriously. But I can see that he's under a lot of pressure, so much that he's so much so that he's so wasted he can't even use his keys at midnight. Sure he was in my way, but it was no match for my rewind power after all I had to go meet go meet Chloe, Bad Max. 
Even though I was in full ninja mode, Chloe still scared the shit out of me, which pissed me off considering what I've been going through. Sometimes she's so damn insensitive to other people's feelings. She wants all my attention for her and finding Rachel and she gets butthurt if I don't have time for her. Obviously I have time in hand, but I can't say mad at her for long and she was so damn excited about having the keys to the main building. And honestly, I was pretty amped up too. Even more so when we went to the front of the building and spied on Victoria talking smack about me. Shocked. And worse, actually trying to blackmail Mr. Jefferson to pick... Jefferson? Yeah, Jaffa Cakes. Jefferson to pick her photo for the Everyday Heroes contest. She is freaking unreal. I give Mr. Jefferson major respect for telling her to get lost, even though she deserved to be expelled for pulling that crap. This is her priority after what happened with Kate. I just don't understand Victoria, no matter how hard I try. She's already rich, pretty, and a good photographer. Why try so hard and hurt so many to manipulate everything already in your favour? I just hope that's not what I'm doing with my rewind power. Yes, there's something incredibly awesome about breaking into your school at the witching hour, although Chloe was technically right. How can we break in with a key? Never mind that it was a stolen key from the head school's head of security. Anyway, the Blackwell ninjas strike again. So cool to stock the halls when it's dark and quiet. Even with so many terrible things happening all around us, it felt like Chloe and I were walking towards the centre of a great cosmic mystery, something bigger than any of us. But we kind of suck as master spies since we didn't have a key for the principal's office. No worries with my rewind power at hand and of course Dr. Warren Graham. He came through with a bitching mini bomb made of sodium what the fuck ever. I probably learned more putting those ingredients together than the entire semester so far. Sorry, Miss Grant. Warren is a star student here. He tries so hard to help, maybe too much, but what's wrong with that these days? I'm so grateful he's on my team. Talk about being in the Sancto Sanctorum. Thanks to the Latin class I barely passed at Blackwell. I did feel freaking weird about being in the principal's office after midnight, going through his flies, flies? files and laptop with Chloe. She was way too into it. Technically, we could be arrested and thrown in jail. Yikes, I just pretended that we were on a very special episode of the Wizards of Waverly Place. You know, just a couple of wacky Sherlock's invis in investigating. We'll get there. The school for a good cause. Yeah, that helped. While we didn't find the proof, we found Nathan's file had a weird drawing in it that just said Rachel in the dark room over and over. So that's a major clue that Nathan is involved in this somehow, or he's just insane. But he did not, his note also referenced David M, which means that we absolutely have to find a way into David's secret bunker files for a good cause. But Chloe just can't help herself, and she actually wants to take five grand in cash marked handicap fund. That's got to be legit, am I right? Well, it probably isn't a handicap fund now that I think about it. I can't think of a faster route to Karma Hell, but it would have paid off Chloe's debt to Frank. I stopped her, but it kind of bothers me that Chloe can be so selfish like that. I'm not going to let anything happen to her, but I can't just let her do anything she wants. Mad Max? More like Mommy Max. Despite all the usual breaking in and blowing up office hijinks, Chloe decided what we needed was, or what we need more than anything was to take a night swim in the otter's lair. I was so giddy and rebellious that I was like, oh yes, we shall swim. We didn't completely skinny dip, but close enough to get in big trouble no matter what. I don't know why we're being so careful, or so careless after being so careful. I love that Chloe brings out the just don't give a fuck side of me, even if that hasn't always served her well. She deserved a moment of not giving a shit. Me too. Just two friends goofing around the pool. I feel those youthful shenanigans might soon be a thing of our past. God, I'm starting to sound like Will and Teach is a Blackwell. Chloe and I had a nice chat about our lives since I left. Why We talked about dumb boys and girls and why the trouble, especially for me. I feel like a groupie when I talk to Chloe about her life experience. She has me so beat. I take pictures, she takes action. Speaking of action... We had to seriously bounce when security showed up. Duh, how quiet could we be in a swimming pool? Plus, after leaving a, tra a trail of our Blackwell handiwork, it was so intense and exciting to get past the security guards. They had serious spotlight power, so it wasn't exactly easy to stealth our way past. Especially as we had to bail in Chloe's junker. But like I said, intense and exciting. Hella like Chloe Price. Alright, we're done. Done reading. This is some clothes on. I don't think I'll be washing today. Let's read chat. Uh oh. Saren's been timed out for uh, I don't think I'll be being spammy. Too. I did you smell like beef? Also, why do you have spam on? Because it's funny. I could see you get the timed out. And then David wouldn't be on my case. I tried to hide in the closet, but it wouldn't let me at the time. Apparently, it was too full. Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Basically, my clothes just could be on the floor, ain't they? Why don't I just look on the floor? Max, look on the floor. They're not on the floor. Where are my clothes? Chloe, where are my clothes? Why have you got a gun still? Examine. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. What happens if I leave with no clothes on? Put some clothes on first, hillbilly. Ah, okay. I thought I might just let me leave. That would have been funny. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. 
<sighs> At least we haven't been identified yet. Incident. Police arrested a nude man with a sword up, all, uh, up all night's donuts off Pekin Power Road at approximately 5:52 p.m. The unidentified man was charged with being under the influence of energy drinks and methamphetamines. He's being held without bail pending further investigation. Oh, this is us here. Police and fire departments respond to a break in vandalism on the Blackwell Academy campus around 1:30 a.m. Police have not stated if they have any suspects yet. Boggers. Especially since Kate's parents aren't going to bury her. Here. I, uh, No. Here for Black Girl student. A local service will be held to Saturday, October 12th for Kate March 18th, who died on Tuesday. The family asked for donations to be sent to a church group care of Blackwell Academy. They plan a private service and burial at another location. Why don't we come out and do raids? Well, I could Still so. reeks like a chlorine factory. <laughs> Plus, I don't have a lot of coins left, so. Did I get dressed? I can't remember if I got dressed. Wait, what? Why didn't I put the clothes on? Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. I love this Wait, morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Oh, you missed me reading the journal again. Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you, you miss Sarah and getting right? timed out. My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. You miss Sarah and getting timed out. <sighs> Because she was spamming stuff in the Twitch chat. So, you never really told me if you had a serious... No, she can't now. It was, was only for a few seconds, Not but I think serious. she's gone. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. Quite tired. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along for this for me. Sounds like you totally crushed no. on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Me and you could probably have done an Aerodactyl Like me, right? Me and you could probably oh, do an Aerodactyl uh, Raid. I mean, you could try and solo. Rachel would have fought over both of us. He wished. Got strong enough Pokemon. Then again, maybe. You're Was it near you? And she wanted to be a model. Well, do it, because you're not... It's only just a normal pass. It's not because it's a remote raid pass. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. I would join, but sure. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size, but not. Uh, has it for me? Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to I your chlorine brand T-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes, just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can I don't want to be in. Chances. Whenever and whatever. Um, you want to try. To, yeah. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? Wait, what? I double dare you. Kiss me now. What the fuck? Fuck it. So I'm supposed to kiss her. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Will that have consequences? Of course it will. Well, let's rewind and see what happens if I press don't kiss. She didn't think I would. What? No, I just wanna... I just wanna be here. Alright, there we go. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite. Get another can of juice because it's Max, fucking you don't blue. have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Nope, I ain't kissing you this time. I rewinded for Sorry, a reason. Not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. 
Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. She I'm knows. So she knows. I'm so best unfriend you for that. I love that Chloe no, is so leave it like that. fearless. Anyway, close. Good rest. There's another journal entry. Fucking. Uh, I think I'm just gonna start reading them at the start of. Or I'm gonna read them at the start of each episode now because it's taking fucking ages. Go through the journal. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra? Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I'm not a fan. I have to of this uh, wake and bake first. Punk. I promise, Max. Not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Should be fine if you got strong enough Pokemon for it. Oh my god. What's uh, what's that the CPU? Smells so amazing. No, I meant the Aerodactyl. Ah. <laughs> uh. Miss Caulfield, I want to thank you so much for your actions with my daughter Kate. Ah, uh, I must have beaten Absol, which I think is a little low in there. I don't know. You showed true grace and bravery when you went up to do that on the, went up to that roof with her. You must know that you did all that was possible and that Kate's life was never in your hands, or even hers at that point. Kate has left us for another world, but she'll always be blessed or always be with us, and I know she wants you to have a long, dynamic, blessed life. Our family will forever include you in our prayers. Peace and joy, Richard Marsh. It says on no number. It's like when we were kids here. Also says it's Kate's dad, so it could be a mystery number. It could pretend to be Kate's dad, or it could actually be Kate's dad. Another journal entry. Can you stop writing in your bastard journal? I've got so much to read. It's caught up on the journal and not got to read it again. Uh oh. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Ah, uh, uh, I mean Max. Oh, you startled me. Just call me Rachel. You fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. All right, Craig, do I want pancakes or eggs and bacon? Pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. Good choice, because I like eggs. We were grab them from a stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. I'm helping you? Eggs Make them for me, no wench. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Am I allowed in said refrigerator or? Oh. Now for the mother's milk. There's milk, where's eggs? Where the fuck are the eggs? Come I'll on, give you the Max. milk. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Why am I looking for ingredients in your house? Ah, uh, jeez, can you help me get this bird out of here? Hold on, bird, what's going on? There's no bird here. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Where the fuck are the eggs? Realistically, you think they'll be in the kitchen. Window. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Like the air in, I suppose. There's nobody the eggs are out here somewhere, surely. Are the eggs outside? There's a bird. Ooh, dead bird. Oh, it's a dead bird. Hopefully. Lovely. You got an egg in you? Three More dead, dead birds? birds? What? Lined up? That's fucking ominous. Where the fuck are the eggs? Craig, where are the eggs? I wonder I how to go in there, birds wouldn't died. Fuck knows, I'm looking around the garden now, because I looked around the kitchen. Bruv, I, like, why am I looking for eggs in someone else's house? It's their house. <laughs> K, 
Tate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Student leaps to death at Blackwell Academy. Okay, that's kind of harsh. If it was true. Bird, be gone! Fly, you fool! Oh, that's the bird that she wanted gone. You're meant to be out of the house. What are you doing still in here? Get out! Oh my god, this is gonna give me an aneurysm. Where the fuck are these eggs? Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. I bet you I'm supposed to find this uh, find this bird, and that's where the eggs will bloody be. I have to Google this in a minute because I don't know where these fucking eggs are. How's your redact still good? Did you get it? Oh. It's like a float with a bird at least. It's like I found the fucking eggs. It's an alive bird. I'm not taking photos of the dead birds. Achievement! Raw strength. Well, I've got an achievement. I think you have to get, like, if you get an achievement for every rare photo you found. I'm not, why, why can't I find eggs? Wowzer, Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Oh, apparently next to the front door, according to uh, Google. <clears throat> I didn't definitely look. Um, yeah. The eggs always. No, come I, I found it myself. To say. I'll be all egg. I'll do egg. Thanks. After all these mm -hmm. years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so more. much of her. Such a sweet girl. Maybe she's on less friend stuff and less poker stuff. I'm just hoping stuff. she's oh. living large in LA. I'd love to think that too. You could, you've got more than I have, I'm pretty sure. We are on the I'm same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Yeah, you've got 10,000. Be honest, and Joyce. I've got, um... Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is smart. And she always seven thousand feet. Maybe but I don't know. There's about three thousand between me and you, so. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Think about. Rachel was so much cooler than me. Oh, <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past yeah. five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Pancakes are ready. Poggers. Another journal entry. I'm sat at the table. What do you want me to know? Fucking blank. I bring the pancakes over. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this Look table. Look at that hair. Good. You can clean. Look at that hair. Pancakes. Mm 
This is too quiet. Something's going to happen. I guess nobody waters the plant here. I guess nobody waters the plant here. I didn't want to click on the plant again. I want to click on the peanut butter. Crunching. What do I do now? Seeing you again. Oh, we're just oh, waiting. Made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. What are you doing? Da, 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 My da. favorite photographers <laughs> probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Max is uh, a bitch. I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. <clears throat> I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, oh, the loop. It was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And... Oh, dear. <laughs> You're way behind. I know, Joyce. I'm By sorry. the way, William was uh, her husband who died. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. <laughs> what do you mean that's this nice? Was <laughs> was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. Everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe <laughs> truly happy. This is why I didn't want you in the party. Here comes Chloe. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always yes. about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so Why am I peeking in the, peek the garage Jeez, for? I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure. Run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else so does. So what I don't even know what I'm looking in the garage for. I do need to get into David's computer. Oh, David's He's computer, gotta okay. Be hiding shit. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more Of clues. course I need the password. All right, password is donkey. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Chloe, I'm so happy you're born today. Thanks for bringing me into the family. Love stepdad. What? No, I didn't want, I didn't want to fucking press search again. I want to rewind time. It's rewind time. Let's try this. Oh, shit balls. Shit balls? Do you shit balls? Nothing to see here. What's the password be donkey? I'm just calling it now. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. You know what? We'll try it. Rewind time. Personal. 7171. Oh, try again. No I said 7171, which has four letters. Uh-oh. Can I rewind so I don't freeze the laptop? <laughs> yes, I can. Paul goes. Okay. Um. Padlocked. Sorry. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. David Madsen. Look at him and his army stuff. Doesn't he look like a king? Oh, yeah, sorry. Rewind time. I need to make sure it doesn't look like I've been in the drawers. 
this rewinding thing is annoying. Personal. ID number. Such wrong. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Stop freezing the laptop, you dumb hole. Right, rewind again. Did I rewind far enough? Oh, whatever. I think I did. Right, cool. Sure. I could try the license number for the password. Concealed handgun license. Oh, yep, I'm rewinding. Give me a bloody second game, okay? Alright, army. 63567. No. No what way, is the Max? fucking password? Totally <laughs> I think I've looked. I think I've looked everywhere now. Rewind time. It isn't one, two, three, four. Book. Looks like David has read this a lot. <laughs> what did he learn? Coming back home, a veteran's guide. You're the vet. I'm so confused. As usual on this game, nothing changed. Naturally, changed. David would buy a heavy-duty military yeah, was read padlock. Just... Nothing in it. Oh, I don't know what I meant to do. So it's not gonna be the family one. It's not any of the personal ones, and it isn't the army one. Something in the garage, like this bit. Trophy. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Single shot award, 2001. Yo. Alright, rebound time. Nope, oh, I pressed the button. I want to sprint instead of rewind. <laughs> Personal. Single shot award, 2001. Worst hacker ever. Oh, oh come on, Max. what's the password? You totally froze the laptop. I tried everything. <laughs> no. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Nine me already. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. A date might be a good password. July 2007. All right. All right, I'll be pointing. Okay, chill. You fucking sell your tea kettle then. Alright, use. Personal. I will be in personal, will it be in family? 07 2007. Nope. Error, of course, of course it's a fucking error. Totally froze the laptop. I bet the password's bloody Chloe or something, or Joyce. It's not gonna be anything ridiculous. In fact, actually, he seems like a... He seems like a Dude, really careful guy. I can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on That's what I did at the start! <laughs> Bag. That's cute. Could be a password here. Could be a password here. Okay. Keep that in mind. Rewind. Oh yeah. Okay. You don't need to give me the dun 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 dun. I'm gonna rewind it. Okay. Just give me a fucking second. All right. Let's see. Does this password work? Use. Family. It's not in there. Personal. It's not in there. Army. Let's see. Oh, shit balls. Error. No Poggers. Way, like, I, I don't know what the password the is. Laptop. I've given up personally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. This is why it takes so long, by the way, Craig, because like, the 19 things are rebind 119 things. Well wrote, oh. Let's get married. It might be a useful password. What, that coffee was fucking £1.50? I'm searching everything, Craig. I've searched everything it physically will let me search. Right. Personal. No! Oh, I pressed the... Try again. No way. I knew that wasn't the password, I just pressed the wrong button. The Oh, go away. I meant to press A to go back. I fat fingered and pressed B. Alright, what about this one? 
Score. Oh, <gasps> fucking about time. Again. All I have to do is go in the car. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Frank and Rachel got together. Rachel Amber profile. Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Arcadia Bay Police Report. Case number 678. Reporting Officer Anderson Berry. Incident Report. Rachel Amber, 18, was picked up at 2.35pm at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called to question Miss Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. KM follows the same path to every class. Overheard Kate and Dana W talking about supplies to Vortex Club party. Drugs? Watched Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in the bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? Saw Kate healthy Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. What? <laughs> Kate has kept herself since Vortex Club party. Not even church. Drugs? Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. Guilty. This How's it making so sense wrong? then? Oh, creepy Me? Bastard. He's fucking stalking me. I'm not reading that out. I don't want to be stalked. All right, cool. We're done. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. <sighs> Whoa. Instead, this is so wrong. Maxie oh, Caulfield. Bastard. Max Caulfield profile. Max Online Aliases, Mad Max, Max Factor, Noir Angel, Maxine Caulfield, Student, B1OT21F2015. Max's class schedule, October week 2, school schedule 2013-2014. I know, crazy, isn't it? Are you happy to read it now? <laughs> Four. Yo, the Chloe. Content, yeah, me reading. Oh, it's the Dave. Nice breakfast. David, you you back already? I have this to take a nap dad. after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happened. Yes. These PC bullshit. But he's colleges. also close that Entitled students taking over the campus. It's kind of interesting. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. It was us. But we're not going to tell him. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. Yes. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. I thought we were trying to be friendly that's with him, but he's been a prick again. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't. Oh, shit. Start he's in Chloe. the. He's not in the now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations no, into Rachel nice. and Kate, nice. what have you done besides get in trouble? Uh, Cyber Chloe, obviously. <laughs> You're a bully, David. I saw <laughs> I'm you on side with when David. She's going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even yes, threaten yes, me. Yes, or I'm just I small. do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you're smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files? I wasn't anyway? smoking what? pot. It was Chloe's pot. Is I was just true, taking the heat. Max? Yes. David, why do you have these files at all? Oh I shit. David's disturbing. getting absolutely I do not smacked up here. have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh. You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw well I'm going to rewind and David, see what would happen if I went with David. You better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home. David, paid to be fair, he's at fault. <laughs> you know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. 
Have a nice day. Yo, Chloe, he's mad. You're not mad, are you, David? Just please shut up. I hope Joyce right, doesn't see what... me for tearing into David. It's when I rewind too far, I forget to stop it because I'm an idiot. Nice breakfast. David, you you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. Let's see what happens if I side with what David. Happened? I'm gonna side with Chloe in the end, but I just wanna see what happens on the other side. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was black whale students? Who else would do it? I'm you, bust them. you really want me on, really want me to be on David's side, aren't you? <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop. He looked for the window at me. I thought I didn't see his feet. <laughs> them with surveillance cameras. So we can spy on like he spies on all of us here. Don't start. All right, let's Chloe. see what happens Not here if now. I side with David. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid. They're gonna the, fucking now, Joyce and Chloe. Chloe are gonna be you pissed at me. me. a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Fuck it. Let's see what happens. Listen, we don't know that David did anything, and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David Slack here. Oh, would you? oh no, I'm going the other, I'm going the other route. Max. But like, so <laughs> I just want to see what would happen. Or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates. Or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of that. this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Yeah, I'm going with the other, I'm going with the other story. I don't care. <laughs> Maybe I went too easy on David. For yeah. it's, it's consequences whichever way I go. Helpless teenager. <laughs> nice right, third time lucky, even though there's two options. You, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens if these pieces. <laughs> these don't, these guys don't know what's going on. Entitled right. students taking over the campus. Do you know yeah. for sure it was? She makes me abuse students? my bloody power. Who else would do it? I'm gonna bust them. Yeah, last episode I had to go in the junkyard and rewind stuff and try and like get off the train tracks. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. She could have done. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Although she does, you fail the story and you have to keep her alive. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So no, no, I'm saying. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting <laughs> a perfect a kill well. sheet. So who's the loser now, David? Do you know Telltale Games at all? <laughs> you or Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have yeah, you done besides getting trouble? Yeah, kill people as much as you can. No, oh, yeah, no, I'm signing with Chloe this time. I'm staying with it. Sticking You're with it. Bully, David. I put my other mattress on charge quickly. Kate Marsh when she was going through I don't care if I'm picking the wrong option. It's my option, totally my story. Everybody you want to figure out, you play the game yourself. Except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like oh, you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but yeah, you don't respect brilliant. anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? 
Yes, there isn't David, some states in America. Do you have and this is in Oregon, so I don't know. I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. No, I like it when he's we angry. It's funny. Together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's can and will. Home, Goodbye. David, paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Bye, Bye David. Don't come back. <laughs> like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day, Chloe. For Why do you like David so much anyway? <laughs> please shut up. Yeah, and I'm trying to do him. What? So I just talk to him after we've had that intense confrontation. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Alright, Chloe. Max, that Which gave me that? chills. And you better not rewind this one. I'm not going to rewind it. I don't know what I'm doing now. Leave Chloe's house? Oh, I guess that's what I'm doing. Listen, when I went through David's Good. laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank <laughs> being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? Sex What's partners. Prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he I mean, have? Probably. In there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. <laughs> Let's check yes. the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. Frank is the... That guy. It's someone who... Um, Chloe owes I money to. I can't believe you hung out with no. him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Casual ninjas. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Sounds really well thought out there, Don't Chloe. Good plan. Get in the way of yours. I won't I'll decide, but I'm going back inside with David. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> Now to find a not in, easy way right. to snag Frank's keys. Oh, text message from father. Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't got in touch sooner. I know you're upset, but your mum and I know you did everything you could to save that girl. Some things are just out of control. If you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Love, pop. Thanks, pop. It's been tense here, but I'm not ready to come home and talk later, Max, Max Oxo. Who's Max Oxo? Nah, no, who's Max Oxo? Who's Max Oxo? Lord, it's like an Oxo bacon. cube. I'm ready to nosh again. Yeah, bacon! But I need to get those keys from Frank. Oh no, Warren's fucking texting me. Bugger off! Try to do something here. Okay, it's officially sold out, but I was against. Both tickets had to fight a dozen bullies off from the freaking nerds. Yeah, of course you did. Alright, Franklin. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. I. Sp <laughs> it's rewind time! <laughs> You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. Yes, the pun. Yep. <laughs> it's free by time. Again. <clears throat> so I just have to speak to the guy. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. 
Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. Savage. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat Close up that officer. Do. Or even Nathan. And then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Chat up the officer or Nathan. Oh, so I've got to talk to other people. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know. <laughs> he doesn't have an eight. Just know that we're proud of you for going up there. <laughs> That's going to work That's well, isn't it? I know you guys deal with cop. this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing the Black Boy Academy. Is that many beans? Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city. No, you're not picking for me. I'm picking myself. Now. Makes me sick. There's no air about it. <laughs> I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. Such a waste. You're awful. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's a loose he's cannon. Too eager. He's eager See, to Craig, be a can't side of a loose bully. cannon. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. <laughs> yes. He's always out to get him. Actually, probably not. <laughs> uh, excuse okay, me, I wasn't finished. Max. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Take Either yell at me or bring her. You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Get off the camera! We'll try to talk. If I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. So much about full bomb. Rewind time. What can I do for you, Max? Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the He's side. He's got coffee. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? Coffee I don't time. Blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try and tell somebody what are you gonna else, do? Lieutenant Coffee. You can use either key information with either Frank, Nathan, or Officer Barry. I could, but I'm hungry. I get food. Hey, Nathan, he's gonna be pissed at me. Let's talk Rachel. to him. Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look, Max Amber. Nice. Why does everyone call me Rachel? Just because I got way, a fucking shirt on. getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public yes. place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Sounds like a personal problem. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, no. hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. He'll hook your ass up. <sighs> It's rewind time. Rachel, uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look, Max Amber. Nah, see, I've got a plan here, nice Craig. I've got a plan. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. Don't call me a twee bitch. A public place. What, what does twee even mean? <laughs> Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. No, I'll go for dad. Shit about father, my father first. or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care? Hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe if I you're not a prick, I'd be nice. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Cool. Well, that didn't work. Well, read my time. <laughs> What's the thing that works? <laughs> But I'll try the other option, fuck it. This has been taking long enough already, I might as well waste all the time in the world. 
Rachel. Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh look, Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> this guy's probably get annoyed. He's saying the same things over and over again. Twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public twee place. bitch. Kate Marsh. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart too. No, oh, you messed up, you Craig. Girl. You don't want you're an to idiot. Me, understand? Cool. Do you? Idiot. Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Okay, so I probably I probably should have stuck with the first option. That's what I see what the other options would do. Now we we'll go back to drugs. Rachel. For the fourth time. Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, we'll go back to the oh drugs. Look. Smile. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> back the way, for the drugs. For me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. You're lucky that I don't know what twee means. Listen. You're lucky that I don't know what twee means, or your fucking face will be all over the ground. You. If you hook me up with Frank, Ooh. know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it what? a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper higher education. You hook your ass up. So I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty bitch. <laughs> I right. let's go over to Frank. Yo, Franklin, I'm gonna you spill your beans like just for the pit. fucking fun of it, and I'm gonna talk to you. I was eating those beans. <laughs> just spill his beans insane? for the reason again. <laughs> I was eating those beans. <laughs> 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 hey, I fell your ass, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's rewind time. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Not doing it again. No, not doing it. Again. You eat oh, like for a fuck's pig. sake. <laughs> I was eating those this is going to take longer. <laughs> I was eating those beans. I can feel like you just do this like 20 times over just because you could abuse it. <laughs> Alright, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it again. We'll do the actual story now. What the fuck now? By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time. Yeah, Craig, he works hands. for a living, unlike you. But, but nothing. <laughs> Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. I'll back off. <coughs> How did that not work? And leave me alone. Damn, I really pissed him off. Oh, I need to back off. For fuck's sake, rewind. <laughs> what the fuck now? Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll Hello. find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Oh, you what am I to do? He won't sell me the that? fucking drugs. Oh, no. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. How? Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But? But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. I'll back off. I'm blaming Nathan. Holy Hi. shit, what do you want now? I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye Fuck on it, we'll just grasp the cops. Like instead. a babysitter. I don't really know. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. 
Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Dude, this is like an 18 plus game or something with all this bad language. Alright, now that I know the um you took a blood oath for Rachel, I'm gonna split you your beans eat again. Like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! <laughs> <laughs> I'm abusing this and I shouldn't be. This is taking long enough already. Get a All right, new let's outfit. sort it out. And leave me alone. Get a Damn, new outfit. I really pissed him leave off. Leave me alone. I need to go back. Damn, I really pissed him off. How far back am I going? Oh, it's rewind time. Oh, I see what I need to do. Big brain, big IQ. Yep. What the fuck now? I have to tell him about the blood oath. I don't know what. Yo. Rachel, uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, Are we back at this Rachel oh, point? Look, Did I go about that? Max oh, for Amber. nice outfit. I don't know what I'm By doing. By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky you twee this bitch. Is a place. <laughs> I'm a pretty bitch. Oh, there's a next page. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? I thought about next and like talk to the I next never told person. Anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So, Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures. Uh, then he carries so around confusing. her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. My head hurts. I just get a headache every time I play this game. Probably not healthy. What the fuck I'm not spilling now? your beans again. I need to fucking spill the beans with you in, like, sorry. You what know talking I saw terms? That photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh, how do you know about that? Yeah, uh, awkward. No, in it. Give me drugs. Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah. I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know. Wait, wait. Let me. She was just a natural beauty. It. Here, judge for yourself. Ah, she's alright looking. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Okay, that was the wrong option. Rewind time. Definitely didn't just steal his keys from right in front of him. <laughs> Yo. Key broke. Uh, four. Now back to Chloe. Oh, no, I got the key by rewinding. Okay, poggers. Bacon and eggs, only five ninety five. We made a gold. Are you shitting me? Oh. I got to rewind to fucking help Alyssa. Are you shitting me? Alyssa, watch out! Quick thinking, Max. I love this fucking side quest of just helping Alyssa all the fucking time with close, tiny Alyssa. things. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. And so every episode, you there's always one like little angel. incident with Alyssa, so and I managed to avoid it from it. Like, first I one, I think she uh, almost got bald for an hour, and I moved her out of the way. The only one who did, while people took camera pics. And then there's another one where I think someone threw their phone in anger towards her, and I moved her as well. Kate was my friend, too. I would have done anything. It's to save funny. Her. Everybody saw that. Jelly sent a photo. I'm proud of you for Thanks, being Craig so brave. Thanks, Craig G. You're pretty cool, but Max. You give him a goal arc. how I feel today, but thanks. We you give Craig a uh, you give Fred a goal arc. Drink some wine. I have to Oh, you go, got a four star. Let's talk later. Cool. You got perfect IVs. That's why you're saying thanks. I'm guessing you need to look at the group chat off and you fucking tweezer. Where is Chloe? I don't know. I should have known. 
It's the amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. It's not the same IV, it's randomized. On your mark, get set. I've got five other five uh, oh. four stars, so I'm happy. Get the treat, treat boy. Oh wait, no! He's in the street. Oh no! Please, please do not let that poor dog be hit. I bet he's fine. I'm sure he is. Come on, we definitely don't have time to waste now. Oh please, please! Read my time. Read my time. Read my time. I'm not the one to talk. No, me a Carl just pull into the parking lot as I throw it to the parking lot though. That's the only thing. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't. I have think done either way, there's going to be a car that hits. Now it. let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. All right, it's not my dog. First of all, it's Frank's. Second of all, on your mark, let's see. get set, throw. Yes, drugs. Parking lot. Get the treat, treat boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Oh. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. I suppose if a dog the is dog dead, we get more time now, to look in the RV. He might come back. Something. I but am I wrong? Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy <laughs> drug dealer. <laughs> Good Frank <point. laughs> has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? We have the keys. We could cruise away in the yes, bad boy. <laughs> be tearing up the highway. And you dare me to drive it like you dared me to kiss you? Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. No, she dared Daydream. me to kiss her. But I said, no, fam, I ain't that, that way inclined. You get me? What was I think wrong I with this? I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. The archetypal filthy guy dish. Frank is almost a made for TV. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Pizza? Nah, stop searching for me, pizza. How can somebody live? Stop like search. This? We need pizza. Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? It's or rewind both. time. Oh, what for? It's like saying it now. <laughs> Crappy wife out here. I was taken. Is Frank going to deal online now? Noob's guy to a web business. There you go, Craig. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Yeah, you could, but do you wanna, you know? That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Open! No more secrets. Um. Open! Ooh, Frank's stash. Oh. So, I'm looking for a tool. Craig's already in the party. Whoa, what the hell is he doing oh, that's with that already dog? <sighs> Stop it. Blowtorch? Why is there a random blowtorch? I can't pick up the blowtorch. Are you fucking me? I know, but I can't... I know, but I will pick up dog food or... I need someone to pry open the vent with. Can't quite... Picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging. Frank Looking must have a reason to keep a police raider on nearby. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. Oh. Zip, nada, mm -hmm. nothing. I cannot believe I'll talk to Chloe you and see what she says. A furry mask. You're dumb. I can't. I can only look at, only look at Chloe. Okay. Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. You're so damn dead. I've looked everywhere for what could be a possible tool. Frank must spend Just all like, his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Try it open with a candy bar, yeah. Frank right. gets the munchie. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. 
Two more round. Oh, open. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. What? That's... There isn't a shower. Yes, the cupboard. This is almost as good as a set of keys. I knew that. Yeah, I knew that. I was testing will it. Open any portal. Your fucking explanations are terrible. <laughs> The the thing, the thing. <laughs> Turn around and look at the thing. From the thing where it was before, that thing oh, there. Man. Go to that thing over there. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. All right, let's get to reading. Frankie B, hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you and poor Pompidou. The, why is the dog called Pompidou? There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here and I smell when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. Heart R.A. I'm glad Rachel got to drive Next. the beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Ah! Hmm. Trouble in paradise. More reading. Frank, that was not cool what you did. And don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me and I thought you'd never chill out. I'd never seen you act that way and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo and we don't look back. I care about you, us. So maybe we need to break our routine. XO. Ra. This has been two and a half hours. Jesus Christ. This is a long ass episode. Can I not break the other vent? No, it doesn't let you break one. I think it's just... I don't have to tell Chloe about <laughs> What? Don't call Chloe a it dog. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I don't want to stop I can't dog, believe man. she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Oh Why damn, she, she was banging it? Frank. Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person You're who the shits bang. all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail you're on grumpy. me grumpy. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. I do you. want to stab Bullshit. her. Bullshit. Who hasn't? Fuck everybody. Stop being so loud. Frank will hear us. Joy of watering. Yeah, fuck those keys. Wherever they went. He's still eating his... How many beads do you have? <laughs> Bye, Frank. We definitely didn't go for all your stuff. Why are we going backwards? It's rewind time. Yeah. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong oh, no. in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody. Otherwise, it's, it's all Better than throwing the ball into the road Fuck and nearly them. getting it run over. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh. Yes, Kate Marsh killed herself. She's dead. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel better about my fucked up oh, life. Get it? Heartless. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe. He died. He couldn't help dad it. Dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home. Because her fault. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid, and he never does? This is gonna be a fucker no, to upload. Of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever <laughs> since you died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. 
You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you mm -hmm. with me. And Rachel needs you. I don't know if you want to hear this, Craig, but... <laughs> He's alive. Craig, I'm going to tell you this now. <laughs> you don't want to hear this. <laughs> I was going to say, I still have them. Oh, uh, well, maybe I dropped it back there. I don't know. Rewind time. Who's this? Oh, it's um, Chloe and her mom, isn't it? Oh my God. What the fuck is going on? What is happening now? Why is the picture fucking talking? <laughs> it's picture time. <laughs> Am I photos coming to fucking life? <laughs> Grabs your nose, cut your nose. <laughs> Use L and R to focus the photo. Doesn't tell you what way to flick the sticks, you just have to figure it out yourself. Someday Dad Who are you? Them newfangled computers. Oh, there was a flashback. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it That's, first. Um, you know the rules, Dad. Max, Dad. tell him. That's William. Oh, hey, you look totally pale. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I just... Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs no, that's down. that's Max. The other one's Chloe. Well, yeah, I want to dad. Just allow this one into the family house. Yes. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in time? Rewind time. In by France, five years. They call them I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. Now I get Photo. to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Oh, I can't do that. I'm not a miracle worker. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question. How is taking a photo a fucking right. consequence? I just want to take a photo, so all right? I am happy and carefree. Uh, I am. And this is. I love William like he was in my own family. I won't let him die today. I won't. What am I meant to do? I don't know what I'm meant to do. What a mess we made. I, I don't remember. those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Nope, don't answer oh. that. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Hey, You've pushed me out of the way. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. Oh, yeah. I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. Have to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Where are the keys? Where are the keys? I'm waiting, to, I'm waiting for him to find his keys and I'm going to rewind and then uh -huh. take them. Oh, no, I still want the photo. Don't you dare question the chef. Bum, 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 bum. Right. Like you're the real I can't look at the hat. I can't look under the hat yet. What? I am. When your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Why won't it let me look under the hat yet? 
Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. Oh, because he hasn't taken the he hasn't taken the phone call yet. That's why. Uh, I'll just look around. Oh yeah, I miss movie oh. nights here. Cookies I'll just click this thing popcorn. again, just to waste time. What comic? This one. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. He hasn't he hasn't finished the call Hello. yet. Hey, honey. I'm not it's here. Don't worry. Breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had no, he is. Of course. Okay. I, I want him to die. <laughs> Let me attract with a hat. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. It won't let me. It won't let me interact with the hat. It won't let me do it. I can't. Craig, stop being an idiot. I can't fucking interact with the hat. You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. I dickhead. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with Did chocolate fuck up? cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Mark! No, fucking... How am I meant to do it? Rewind time. You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. No, I'm not going to die. Don't He's blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. How many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're Score. the Score! Here. I am. When your mom is away. I'll let her know that. I figured out, I figured out, yeah. No, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. Does that three one twice? Then we'll just have to keep hiding them until these people doesn't find it. Uh. Hello. Hey, honey. Kit. Just making a fabulous bro Man, I remember Chloe reading this. Don't read it out loud. But not after today. We're all going to work at the two way. No. Well, he's already off. What? Ah, uh, okay, that's fine then. Get groceries. Okay, well. Of course I'll come pick you sure. up. Sure. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for Put that. The keys in the someday. cookie box. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear no. jar. You mean your college? I fund? mean, if I ever play for this again, I'll know. <laughs> I right, go on, look under the hat, go on. If he fucking looks in the cookie box, he's a cunt, alright? Where are those keys? In. Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. I knew this thing would come in handy. How the hell did my keys end up here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting. Where are we to hide them? This beeper doesn't get it, them. Because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Oh, uh, she's never leaving me. That makes all of us. I. Ah, uh, you wanna know? You wanna want? You wanna go drive to your death? That's up to you, mate. I'm fucking that enough. <laughs> Doing nothing. Oh, there we go. I'll let her know that. Can I hide keys in the couch? Would the couch be a good idea, do you reckon? 
Eckert. This in the couch. Can I go outside and hide him? No, it won't let me outside. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making <sighs> a fabulous. Breakfast. Maybe I should put it in the cereal <sighs> box if this doesn't work. We're going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. This game is Either making me pissed off enough already, Craig. Right. Don't add. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious William. grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college? Yeah, a dollar for the swear jar, idiot. Please, please. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting but me. Don't no, don't use your beeper. Oh for fuck off! Oh. Why are my keys under here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it because tonight what your mother promised to, do? to make us like, a world famous salmon surprise with Pick chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too. Watch a YouTube video for me because I've had enough. <laughs> that makes all of I don't know. I'm, oh, I'm genuinely going to have an aneurysm. Williams. Crap. I need to hide the keys where William won't hear his dog. No, it doesn't let you upstairs. What if I just keep him on me? Okay, that's the phone. Sorry, wrong number. Max, come on, you know better than that. Damn it! <laughs> hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come. Hold on, if I keep the keys now on me. Excuse to get a mocha. Will sure. it work? Okay, <laughs> good. Try to keep the keys on me. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't you, have many bags of on. delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful oh. for that someday. I'm just keeping she the keys on me. Keys. You might not know this. Dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Yeah. Um. Shit. Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. Max, this is not the best time for a prank. No, please, please. I thought it would work. Uh, I was just, um, are you sure Joyce is ready? Uh, well, let's, just, let's just wait. I, okay. um, sorry, here. I'll get you back someday. <sighs> and no Chloe and Max wine oh, tasting session. Oh, it's been nearly three Dad, hours. Don't Jesus blow it, Christ. Because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. I'll just fuck off and die, honestly. I'm done with you. <laughs> Right. The last bastard time. I didn't know you could put them in a the sink. Oh, right. Hey, honey. What? Why did you just cut off the. Oh, it is. Red I person. know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take this the bus, right? This the past. Would this not be the like stop here? is right down the street. This I can do. 
Good call, Max. Oh, yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes, and there'll be plenty of room for you. Okay, you're selling the bus a bit too much here. And, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. Oh. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Oh, Joyce will love this. So will William be alive in the now, then? Or what? I, uh, this is going to be weird. so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. So what, how is this going to change the, the present? Yeah. Or what? What's happening to all these fours? Yeah, fuck off, David. You're a pain in the ass, mate. So is this like an alternate reality where everything is better because he's alive? What the fuck? What is happening? Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Going to be wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so long. I know. Sorry, Mad Max. You're not pissed at me, right? I'm friends right? with Victoria? Nah. Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke and peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Oh, for fuck's sake. Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. What is Warren, going on? He hooked up with Stella? Are they trying to dance? What's going on there? Oh no! Th this is totally fucked up! What else have I changed? How is this oh. fucked up? The dad's alive. Chloe's probably a good person at this point. Rachel probably never goes missing. David's the bus driver. I hate this reality. Why is he the bus driver? So, do I carry on playing from this world or do I carry on playing back from the one I was in before? I'm so confused. Ah, oh, whatever, dude. Game hurts my head as it is. I don't need it to hurt anymore. Do you just love the copyrighted music that Life is Strange puts in just so your video gets taken down? Me too. But where am I actually going on the bus to? They've taken me away from the school. Where do I live? What are we looking at? What's happening at the window? Is that... wait, what? There's actually two whales. Oh, that's why they call it the two whales. The place to eat. Where am I going? Is that my house? All because I put keys in the sink. It's going to be Chloe with the old hair in it, in the old kind of style. It's not going to be new Chloe. Max Caulfield. Taking oh, no, a dead. break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. 
We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold I wonder on. what Chloe looks like in this reality. Chloe, I know you've said that. You have a visitor. Why is Chloe in a wheelchair? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> that better not be the end. You can't leave me on the cliffhanger. That's the end? Are you fucking... That's where you're leaving me? What the hell? You say if I save William, but like, I can't not hit save him because it ends the game if I don't. No, if I don't save him, it you have to do it. You have to keep hiding the keys until you do save him, which is why I went through it about six times. So this is part of the story anyway. Chloe is completely different than a different reality. <laughs> well, I've got two more episodes of this to do, and I don't know when I'm going to do the next one. I don't know if I'll do them over the weekend. Maybe I will. Can you? Oh, for fuck's sake. That's why it says unavoidable, Craig. I'll probably explain that. <laughs> Sick. So, like, what happens at the start of the next episode? Do I just go into a... I'm just confused. <laughs> I don't... The majority of the game, I don't know what's going on. How do you think Max feels? So... I don't know. I... So... When I go to episode 4, will I be in the old reality that I was in beforehand, or will I be in the new one where William's actually alive? I'm not taking a sneak peek. No, I'll, I'll find out the next time I play this, which I'll probably play tomorrow now because I'm kind of fully invested now. Alright, but don't spoil it. That, I'm, my brain cannot function when I'm playing this game, this game literally sends my brain into a different reality. Nice, don't spoil it. Wait, what? Ah. Oh. Do you know what? We'll figure it out next time. I'm, I just, my brain hurts, my head hurts. <laughs> There's replayable value in it anyway, but this is the one that goes on to the YouTube. So, what the actual fuck? Same dude, same. Oh, I was going to save him anyway. I think I didn't think it was like where I couldn't save him. I thought it was unavoidable. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. 
<laughs> Too much in my brain right now. My head is hurting. <laughs> this game's up to give me a fucking headache. Because it's simpler and I've also played it before. <laughs> I'm just confused. I am just confused. I don't know what's going on. Yes. By the way, the reason I'm watching all the credits is because after this I can see like my choices and who picked, how many percent picked my choice and how many percent picked their choice. Yeah, but no. I refuse. I will do... Yeah. Credit to all of these uh, people who have Mind fucked my brain. Appreciate that. I have absolutely no idea what's going on, so thank you for that. <laughs> if I can't go back to blue hair, Chloe, then I'm suing every one of you. I better be able to. Okay, bye, I guess. Yeah, Rob, you just missed the majority of it. I've been on this for three hours. But it's on... It's The stream's going to save, and... Um, it's going to be on YouTube, so... You can always watch it back. My brain... What? Yeah. No. I'm not streaming Pokemon, no. Unless you buy me the capture card. <laughs> well, there you go. I'm so confused. No. I didn't. Alright. Why is... Why do you use it to... Why do you stream Pokemon? I'm not streaming it. Because I don't have it, first of all. No, because you just laugh at me fail. Thanks for playing! Yeah, I still don't know where I am in the bloody story. My head hurts. You and 44% of players stole the money, or left the money even. 56% of players stole the money. 21% didn't kiss Chloe. 79% did kiss Chloe. 84% sided with Chloe. 16% sided with David. 93%... <laughs> I know. 93% kept Frank's dog from harm. 7% got Frank's dog hurt. I'm so glad I, I'm so glad I rewinded on that one. 68% Chloe has David's gun, and 32% Frank has David's gun. Next, there'll be some here that I didn't even see. 42% Lisa is alive, 58% Lisa is dead. Who's Lisa? Oh, that's my plant, I think, isn't it? Even though I watered it every fucking episode, I don't know how it's dead. She named the plant Lisa, I wasn't involved. You helped Warren with his exam, 34% of players didn't do that, or you didn't help Warren with his exam, 66% of players did. I didn't know you had an exam. Oh, I could have looked at the exam files and told him, couldn't I? When we were, like, breaking in. Oh, this has been such a long episode. My brain is sore. You and 55% of players are on the Vortex Club party list, and 45% of players are not on the Vortex party club list. 20% of people erased some names from the Vortex Club party list, and 8% you didn't change the Vortex Club party list. 56% of players didn't erase the cops' message, and 40% erased the cops' message. I didn't know you could... 53% of players helped Alyssa, 47% of, play of players didn't help Alyssa. 26% of players warned the homeless woman. I didn't warn the homeless woman and neither did 74%, but I didn't know what I was warning her from. So you took a photo in the past, 45% of players did that. And you didn't take a photo in the past, 55% of players didn't take a photo. You left a mark on the fireplace, 28% of players left a mark. I didn't, and I'm part of 72% that also didn't. Uh, friend stats? What does friend stats do? Oh, that's just like um, on my friends list. Okay. I think a lot of people have actually played this on my friends list, so. Alright. Thanks.
nearly done. Oh, here we go. Brave. Alright, so next time it'd be Life is Strange Episode 4 Dark Room. And it looks like we're back in the previous reality because in the current reality, I don't, or in the, like, in the current reality, I don't think that part even happens. But I guess we'll figure it out next time. But that is going to end our episode of Life is Strange with Craig and the party helping, hint, hint. Um, but anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you next time I do Life is Strange. Bye for now.